Okay, go. This is Zoe from Let Zoe Spoil You on day two in Tokyo. Today was pretty much spent entirely in Akihabara. We headed down, walked from Ueno down to Akihabara, it wasn't very far at all, and en route found the amazing Gundam Cafe, in which I spent a vast amount of time being very overexcited. Um, there were Harus everywhere, and they wore like Gundam uniforms, and the food was shaped like Gundams, kind of. And they had cocktails after the Gundam characters, so I drank an Afranzala, because he's one of my favourites from Gundam Seed, and Luke drank a Dio Maxwell from Gundam Wing. Yummy. And then on the screen, we watched Gundam, and then they started from the beginning and showed every single opening and ending of every single Gundam series ever. But by the time it started getting towards Seed, Luke was like, we really need to go, because he spent an hour watching Gundam intros on a screen. And I was like, oh. But it was great. It was like, yeah, really like, just, oh, if you like Gundam, it's awesome. And I like Gundam. And then I bought some Gundam chopsticks. And it bought some Gundam chopsticks, and it was all really rather Gundam themed. After that, we went to main Akihabara. And with Akihabara, you basically, you choose the tower block, start at the top and get off the lift edge time, and, um, yeah, continue down. So we started at the top. Strangely enough, we ended up on a lot of adult floors. Whoops. Um, then we found manga floors, and then lots of figures. Lots of figures, lots of figures. Yeah, I still couldn't find any of the figures of the characters I liked, which was really annoying. Like, oh, all these amazing figures. And I'm like, oh, where are the Black Butler figures? Where are the free figures? Where's the Yu Hakushu and the Hunter x Hunter figures? And I was like, so I didn't end up spending any money, which was upsetting. Um, I did find some starish merchandise, including a giant, amazingly attractive body pillow that looks like if you get that, it's not allowed in the bedroom, really. So I'm like, well, I suppose that makes sense, since he probably doesn't want to share the room with a giant, like, Bichon and pop star. But it was awesome. Um, we did the maid cafe. Turns out, not so into maid cafes. I don't like the whole squeaky cuteness. And by the time there was, at one point, there was just the two of us in there, and eight maids, and they were everywhere. And I was actually kind of a little terrifying, because I don't have that much cute in me. And they just kept coming out of everywhere. And I was like, oh my goodness, I don't know what to do about this. It's a and they're singing, and they're making me sing. And now I'm on a stage having a photo, so I have to pose like a cat. And I'm like, no, I'm not, no, no, I'm not that cute. You know what? Gundam's raw, awesome. Cuteness and, and make cafe is particularly not my thing. Um, but it's done for the experience, which is always worth it. That's why you come to Tokyo, to all these various kind of places. There. It's for the gimmick, it's for the fun. It was a wonderful experience. Um, of that, we got caught in a thunderstorm on the way home. And that was pretty much day two in Tokyo. Um, this is Zoe signing off, and I will keep updating with more adventures here in Tokyo. Bye for now.